I think he's been 75 laps right now. If I'm not mistaken, our graphic said he stopped at 217. That was 75 laps ago, so. Which, uh, of course, a number of those laps are run under caution, which allows him to run a few more laps. But yes, he should be coming in pretty soon. We see Gary Cope running on the apron of the racetrack. He's had many, many problems with that Purelator Chevy today. I think Rudd needs to run maybe one more lap, and then he could go the rest of the way, according to the gas mileage that he has been getting, excepting that one time when he came in on 69 laps. Boy, they're getting up close to that wall, are they? You, are. you suppose Rudd let Michael go so he wouldn't know what he was going to do when he... Oh, he's run out of fuel. He probably has. Down on the inside, he's going to come in this time. I saw it duck down like that. I thought he'd run out of fuel. Michael Waltrip will stay on the racetrack while Ricky Rudd drops to the apron of the racetrack and comes in. Jerry Punch will call this stop by Ricky Rudd. Well, they have squeezed every drop of fuel they can get out of this car. They're getting ready to service the tight Chevrolet for the final time today. Waddell Wilson and the crew now scampering to work on the car. It will change all four tires, what should be the final pit stop of the day under the green flag. Fill it up with fuel. Carl and Rick Hendrick here helping orchestrate. Michael Walter down in turn three. We'll keep an eye on the lead car. That's the man Rudd's going to have to beat. Headed to turn four. Here comes the bright yellow and orange new boot car number 30. Uh, Michael Walter down the straightaway run. Now burning rubber down pit road. But Michael Walter will have the advantage until they head to turn one. 21 and 8 tenths seconds. It was a great pit stop under the pressure they were under, knowing that they had to have a good pit stop. But talk about pressure. The Michael Waltrip team is now under the pressure to have a good last pit stop. Well, right. why don't we put a clock on Michael Waltrip, see how fast he is running on the, the older tires, and then we'll put a clock on Rudd, see how fast he is running on the, the newer tires, and, and I'm sure they're going to be clocking down in the pit, and that'll tell them then just how, what they need to do. So Ricky Rudd has made his last pit stop, and Michael Waltrip continues to lead here in Darlington. You know, we haven't talked too much about Mark Martin, but he is in fourth position, and he may be turning his season around right here. 33.75. I don't think Michael can afford to stay out there no, too long. I think you're right. Dude. What do you run? 33.75. Rudder run about 32 flat. Yeah, he was up the side of the car when he came by here. I got on him. 21 8. Yeah. 21 8. 77, 21 8. For 7 7, it was. Yeah. yeah. Thirty-two eighty-seven. He passed two cars on that lap. Rudd. That's a second. A lap. Ooh. Oh, oh Michael my just about got spun. Well, I, I think Michael's going to have to come in quick. It's going to cost him if he don't. They're getting ready. He's coming in now. Yeah, yeah. They they saw what was happening. I'll tell you what happened. Like I said, it would do. Welcome you back to Darlington International Raceway. Just 69 laps to go, and now the race strategy plays out. Our leader, Michael Walter, makes his final stop. Remember, he came in for fuel only with that final caution flight a little bit ago. The last caution flight, and now the Pinto crew will have to hustle. We'll keep an eye on the other cars out there on the racetrack. As Davey Allison and some of them. They got a problem with the air gun, the right front. The air gun is broken. They cannot get the right front tire. Run is in turn three. Coming down the straightaway, so Rudd unlaps himself as the tide crew celebrates there, watching now as the Penzo crew had an unbelievable misfortune. The air race in the right front of the clock, and now Ricky Rudd has already unlapped himself, and Michael Walters is going to have it. Oh. Ned, I can hear the frustration yep. in the accelerator yep. with Michael Walters. You heard that engine go, wow, 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 that's telling the guy, please don't do this to me. Yep. That's too bad. The only thing that's going to help him now is the caution flag. 
is, is to get back up there where he can race the track. Now, he needed to come in right then, fellas. He didn't need to stay out there another lap because, as we said, just before he went to commercial, we put the clocks on him, and he was running about 33 and 8 tenth seconds a lap on those old tires. And Ricky Rudd was running about 32.75, a full second faster. So he couldn't afford to let Rudd stay out there on those new tires and pick up a second of lap on him. So he had to come in then. Unfortunately, they had the problem with the air there. There you can see that still the average speed of the race is above the record average for this event by over two miles an hour. The leader of the race is Davey Allison. Ricky Rudd is second. We'll be back. That is really too bad. You know it? Yeah. For Michael? Yeah. He's almost a lap down because yeah. he shouldn't have any problems staying in front of me. I think well, you need to wait until the 28 pits. Because he's the leader of the race. Yeah. There's Jeff Bodine in the wall over there. Bad. How much of, of, is that sun playing? Well, that sun. Yeah, we need to talk about that because yeah. it's really yeah. a problem. As high as so wait, can we see Mark Martin going into the